Let's hear from her. Let's go. Jesus and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus and praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to thank the Lord of Chosen for what he has done for my friend. My friend, um, she grew up. Begin with what he has done for you before your friend. For my friend, yes. Your own first. What God did for you. And then, then your friend. My God of Chosen, he has healed me from 42 years epilepsy. God of Chosen healed her of 42 years or 3 years of epilepsy. It was so terrible that it was like that thing wanted to destroy her life. To the extent, extent that falling down and falling down her broken part of her systems that he cannot be able to package and use her body again. But through prayers. Oh yeah, tell I, us. I oh. was also in a wheelchair. It was on the wheelchair. I had any time I went to the shop I, or even around my house, I had to use two walking sticks. I was bad with my depression. I also had eight suicide attempts in the one year because the amount of the epilepsy was affecting my body. I felt that I know God is punishing me. He wants me to die. So I you know, hung myself three times and I had five overdoses in the one year. But from connecting to Lord of Chosen, I realized this is the devil working in me. You no, know, God wants me to live. God wants to use me for something. Now I'm going out helping and praying for disabled people in the hospital three times a day now, listen, every week. Amen. Now, not only that they had a epilepsy and was on the wheelchair, have all the damage system, he was also trying to kill herself because she felt her life is useless. But after prayer, the whole thing was cancelled. She became free. That prayer was made through the cable, through the phone. And beside that, after she was healed, she now became instrument in the hand of God. She is now a miracle worker in Ireland. <laughs> Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. And I want to let you know, God has used her to do mighty miracles. Those who could not walk in the wheelchair, she will go to them and raise them up. Please, give us this one. Let us hear. Let us hear. So many people in the hospital, especially a lady, her body, the doctors confirmed, her body was shut down. She couldn't eat herself. She couldn't stand. She couldn't walk. I showed her my testimony. I sh let, let her listen to Daddy pray, and when Daddy mentioned distance is not a barrier, she got up for her wheelchair. Come <laughs> after she had in this testimony, and she prayed for her. And doctors and nurses were running to me saying, Sheena, what did you give to her? Doctors. I said, I only give her what God of Chosen has given to me. <laughs> my, my next testimony is about my friend. She was raised in her, her mom and dad were actually alcoholics and they were taking drugs. So my and beaten my friend and also beaten his wife. My friend ran away from home. She lived on the streets and she was actually prostituting her body to make money. Her, my friend, I you know, went to my friend, I told her, God can do this for you, never give up. And my friend says to me, Sheena, 
because I have prostituted so much, the doctor said, I can no longer have children. I'm going to, no, I can no longer give birth anymore. I says, don't listen to the words of man. Listen to the words of your father. Listen to God. <laughs> and I prayed and I fasted for her. And my friend now, she's no longer prostituting her body. She's... Amen. Jesus. She has started to work in a local shop making money. She's also um, met herself a new partner. And from the doctor telling her she could have no longer have children. No, when daddy prayed, God will bless someone with a new womb. I prayed for her that day, and that lady now has four beautiful children. Oh, <laughs> every clap offering to Jesus. This God is Baba. I want, and I want to thank Lord I've chosen so much. Um, he has helped a lot of people in my country. My country is the worst country for suicide because they haven't accepted worst Christ. Worst country of, that commits suicide. Because they haven't, nobody tells them about this God. And a lot of people in my country don't believe in God because they said, no, if God, no, is real, how could he let such things happen to me? So they start not believing in God. And even when I was in hospital, I prayed for a man who was a complete atheist. He didn't believe in God at all, at all. I prayed for him. I talked to him. I told him about Jesus Christ, what God can do, what God can do in his life, what God has done for me, what God has done for others. Now that man who was an atheist has, has agreed to become a Christian. Clap for Jesus, a Muslim. Clap for Jesus. <laughs> it is very clear that God has saved her to save others. Likewise you. God has saved you to do what? Others. God is doing wonders in her life. And I'm, I'm sure that God is going to use her greatly in Northern Ireland to cause great revival there. Mm -hmm. After this few periods of staying here, when he gets back there, we're going to hear wonders. Mm -hmm. Because he has contacted more anointing, more grace, more power has come mm -hmm. upon you. Mm -hmm. Clap mm -hmm. for Jesus. Say amen to that. Mm -hmm. Praise mm -hmm. the Lord. Children, we are proud of you. We are happy what God has done in your life. And he's going to use you mightily. Amen. The church says amen to that. Amen. So you are coming back to this country for, with testimonies. I'm actually coming back um, to the January program. Hopefully oh. I will come to December. You will bring more people. More people will come with my, you. I'm actually bringing my homosexual friend who has agreed to come to the service and we, he has agreed to join Chosen. We will bring him. So yeah. long, we, you see, he ministered to a homosexual friend, and the person also gave his life to Christ. So that's wonderful. He's coming. Praise the Lord. I have another friend I want to bring. He's originally from Ghana, and he lives in Northern Ireland. He had given up on Christ completely, but I took, because his wife abandoned him and left him for another man. But I told him what God can do, and I prayed for him, and I said, God can do wonders in your life. That man came to my country. He had no work. He had no job. Oh. He didn't know what to do. So I went to the, with him. Now he's working in the hospital. Oh. He's getting a pay Praise rise. Praise the Lord. Lord is good. He has done me well. Oh, my soul. Amen. He has just finished the testimony. Clap for Jesus. 
Oh, brethren, how I wish that you know what you have here. What you have here is too great. But because many of you have not set your mind in order to see this God, you have not seen the fullness of his glory and power. Look at her. Just last year, she came to the knowledge of this Christ and he made her whole. Today, she has become a mighty instrument and help people to walk, to be healed, to give their life to Jesus, to change from homosexual to normal life, and doing great things and counseling two sides. So many evil. Oh my God. My prayer that we will not just be hearers, but we shall be instrument in the hand of God to help this generation, this last generation. Praise the Lord. We we'll pay little price, little price of coming to church here in commitment, consecration. God will use you mightily. You are blessed in Jesus' name.